It's because I'm asking for technological advancements from a jewelry company. Oh, jeez. Wednesday watch fam. Hey, do me a favor, open up a second tab, go to theoandharris.com and check out all the watches, especially this Rolex date reference 1500. Very pretty. What is up watch fam? I am Christian, the curator of the Theo and Harris watch shop. I'm still a tummy ache. <laughs> Michael's got a tummy Even ache. from the intro. Michael's, oh my uh, God. Michael's tummy wumby is wumbling. Hey everyone, sorry, Michael and I can't make the shoot today. He actually has a tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start responding to people like that. Sorry, I got big tummy wombie league. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, today is uh, the Rolex releases. We're going to talk about Rolex today. Surprise, surprise. surprise, surprise. These two are of, talking about Rolex A again. lot of shit's going down. Yes, sir. And we don't usually uh, talk about stuff on time. So as always, this will be late. This will be late. This video is brought to you by our friends over at Blissey. And Blissey just makes the most incredible uh, pillowcases. These silk pillowcases, they're temperature regulating. I... Love them. We'll talk more about those later. I have a fun fact about silk. I can't wait. Yes. Uh, but let's get into Rolex. Rolex released new watches, as I'm sure you're aware. Do you like Rolex? I've never looked into them that much, but they've always seemed like they do good work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what your grandfather would say. Yeah. It's like a good watch. Oh, yeah. yeah they're good. <laughs> In that video, paddock. I got you a paddock. Yeah. Whatever. Good watch. Yeah, good watch. Good watch. Good watch. Thank you. So... We'll get into the bigger point at the end, but yep. the bigger point is just to let you think about it as we talk about the new releases. This was, and it's just because now I'm focused on watches a lot more than when it wasn't literally my job. Of course. But this release, because I was so excited about titanium or what they were going to do. Well, you were really looking forward to a titanium. Yeah, Rolex. right. And the Milgauss. I wanted right. them to do something crazy, and they did it. And I realized it's because I'm asking for technological advancements from a jewelry company. Oh, jeez. You know what I'm saying? You're mean. That's, That's true. Yeah, but they're all, I mean, if you're, you're right. <laughs> wow. Hans Wilsdorf is rolling over in his fucking grave right now. He's going to fucking, ho uh, uh, he's going to kill me. He's a, if, dude, if he doesn't kill you tonight, go sorry. Dude, go. the Christmas, uh, Christmas pass. Yeah. Is gonna <laughs> so we'll get into that later. Yes. But we will go over the releases. And I do like Rolex. I just yes. realized what I was asking from who I'm asking. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Right. So first things first. It's like me asking you to be on time. <laughs> Fun fact, yeah, okay. I'm never on time. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I'm always here Michael's way too always early. early. <laughs> so, first things first, Air King, not a major change, but it, oh, how's the hand? My fingy wingy. <laughs> His fingy wingy. Dude, me. your fingy wingy might tell me one be. It's oh amazing we're doing this God. video. Between the two of us, we got one full man. When I try to talk loud, my stomach hurts. Dude, we're on it's because I had four pieces of tiny candy. Yeah. That's it. It's because I had four bottles of wine. <laughs> it's very different. We're making it through, guys. Before we continue our conversation about Rolex, I want yes. to talk for a second about Blissey. Now, Blissey is a sponsor for today's video, and they make the most incredible silk pillowcases ever. They're unbelievable. I've been using them now for yes. two weeks, and they really are they really are incredible. Silk is an incredible material that I'll tell you a little bit about in a nerdy way after, but I also use a silk pillowcase. There's there's a ton there's a ton to like about Blissey. There's a ton of value add there, but for me, the thing that jumps right out, right that Literally, it's, it, it's, I can't go back after this one thing, yes. is the temperature regulation. Yep. I love getting into a cold bed, really, yep. but uh, the, the cold the cold pillowcase, so a, I like a firm, like a firmish pillowcase, but sure. a, 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 a cold pillowcase on my face, it's just incredibly comfortable. Yep. I, I really love that. Uh, right off the bat, Blissey's pillowcases are also hypoallergenic, uh, and, and they improve hair. What do I mean by that? Well, the Blissey pillowcases uh, reduce breakage, so hair breakage, by yes. up to 43% uh, when you sleep. Do to the incredibly smooth surface. That is huge. Originally, silk was used a lot in just not underwear itself, but undergarments for soldiers mm -hmm. because it was antibacterial and temperature regulating, so it was wicking moisture away. And deaths and casualties of soldiers in warlike areas because of those properties dropped dramatically. That and is one so general suggested it. Wow, that's yep. incredible. And, and yep. these pillowcases are made of 100% mulberry silk. Um, again, I've, I've never been a guy that's been picky about my pillowcase, generally didn't care, um, just thought that they were all the same, really, don't yep, care, go to sleep. I'm usually tired anyway, so I just go right to bed. That's um, but works. since we started working with, with Blissey, um, the difference has been so clearly obvious, I, I will not 
use another pillowcase now. So that's period, period end. Did at the very least get one for the properties of silk and see how amazing it actually changes day to day things. And Blissey is not just a great personal investment, but also I know that Mother's Day is coming. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, Blissey would be a perfect gift, right? To give, to give your mother, right? Yeah. Your mother needs some rest anyway. That's, mm, yes. That's for sure. I know that I'm going to be getting my mother a Blissey pillowcase. Oh, with other things too. Yeah, of course. Uh, diamonds. Okay. So if you want to find out what I'm talking about, I really think that you ought to yes. go to blissey.com slash Theo and Harris to save 30% off your first order or <laughs> click the link down there. It's an incredible offer. So yes. again, if you want to feel better when you wake up, look forward to getting back into your bed at night and you want to do yourself a favor, your skin and your hair, yes. uh, go to blissey.com slash Theo and Harris. We have the Air King first. The This is 40 millimeter Air King. Two major updates. Yep. One, crown guards added. Yep. Two, the numbers are loomed. It is not just white gold anymore. Right. Any thoughts on this? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. What don't you like? You know, this Air King with this dial was weird from day one. Agreed. It was always an oddball Air King. Never really made any sense. The green is weird. It was a failed collaboration that they didn't discontinue, right? Was it? Or was that the Speed King? Oh, you're talking about the Air King collection in general. Yes. Oh, yes. 1945. Did you know yeah. that? No, no, you didn't. Uh, Air King, uh, 1945. It was the Air Lion, the Air King, the Air uh, Tiger. It was a little, whatever. A bunch of yeah, Air yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. And the King is the only one that was left. Okay, got so it. That's got it. it. Got it. Um, what I'm saying is this particular dial configuration, which was released a couple years ago, I always found it a little bit odd. It's not, it's not my favorite watch. I don't like the Explorer 2, the Explorer 1, or the OP. Do you have something that's a combination of all of those? <laughs> exactly. Yes, we do. But I did like the watch better without crown guards. I like it with the crown guards. Really? I feel like that is... Is that because you're blind or because you're <laughs> f***ing Or because stupid? you're stupid. I think it's just, finally, there's something besides the dial that differentiates it from the Explorer and the OP. Okay. I mean, I get what you mean. Yes. Yeah, no, clock wrong, is, a a broken it. clock is right once yeah, a day. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I like the green center seconds. Okay, yeah. Green, to me, is the, the one thing that just makes it stick out too much. Everyone needs a green Rolex. But not that type of green. No. Or that type of green. No, listen, I actually like the watch a little bit. It, it's quirky, right? Like, I know two yeah. guys that have purchased the, the Air King, except the model that's not that's not this one, without the crown guards. And sure. every time I'm like, no, it's not a watch I'd spend $10,000 on. But I'm also like, that's cool that you did. Yeah, right. You right, know? Right. I wouldn't have done it, but... But appreciate, respect, real, recognize, real. Right, right. That's what you real, say recognize, real. <laughs> exactly. I wear weird shit. I mean, I wear little ladies' watches, so I'm not judging anybody, you know? Yeah, right. But um, anyway, not my favorite release. Yeah. Also, <laughs> no one want like, no one asked for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. What do you think they're going to do yeah, with right. this watch? Yeah. They're like, wait till you see what we did with yeah. this watch. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the f***? Yeah, okay. Everyone's been begging for a new Milgauss for fucking years, and the best they can do, it's like with those memes about like Pawn Stars, they're like, I'm looking for $10,000 oh, yeah. for this, best I can do is 6 bucks. I'm looking for some sort of update to the Milgauss, even the K-shape, best I can do is, is Crown, Crown Guards. Crown on an Air King. <laughs> like, thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, this is this is from Hodinkee, I, I forget the author, but today the Crown has unveiled what looks to be the exact same model as it's been over the last six years. And then Hodinky tries to flip it. Look closer, though, and key differences are about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dink. Okay. So this is the biggest release from yes. Rolex. This is the GMT Master Two. Yes. For lefties. Yes. And people have been calling it the Sprite Dial, the Starbucks Dial, the Energy Monster Drink Dial right. because of the Colors. green and black. Yes. yes. Cool. So okay, let's 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 start off with left hand first, then we'll get into the color. Yes. Number one. Oh, did you did you see this coming at all? No, no. Neither. Did it, uh, any? I don't. I, well, you know what? They in the trailer. I think a few YouTubers made videos about it instantly when Rolex released their new like this is what it's going to be about. They're like, whoop, there it is. Left hand. Yeah, I think so. Wow, interesting. So I think that's really cool. Rolex. Rolex is known at this point for not doing anything that's particularly daring. Yes, we pretty much know that. Yes. This is crazy. Rolex simply doesn't do things like this anymore. In fact, it hardly ever has. Yes. I, 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 I believe I'm correct in saying that Rolex has never actually introduced a left-hand model to their collection. They have yep. produced left-hand models here and there, but I don't believe they were ever actually a part of it their main collection. It was a collector's piece. Yes. Or, or it was a I collector's mean, piece. Now. piece. Like, it was just a random Right. You know, production. But this is very cool in that sense. That's that's Rolex saying, see, I told you we could be fun. Mm. <laughs> told you I'm cute. Mm. You know? You know what's interesting? 
I didn't realize that. I was like, oh, that makes sense because when I, I'm a lefty, and when I Are wear, you really? yeah, I had no idea. Really, that's how I got this job. <laughs> when I wear a big watch, like a like a thicker watch on my left hand, I notice it hurts more. So really? I was like, oh, that's cool. Like the crown's on this side, so I could bend my wrist. Interesting. Well, you're just supposed to wear it on the other wrist. Right. I didn't know that. Yes. I thought it was so the crown didn't dig in when you lifted it. No, no it's just so you have the crown facing out on the other side. Yes. Yeah. I'm I, still I, wearing I, I don't wrist. know why lefties don't just wear their watch in their left hand like regular people. I do. That's what I'm saying. You do. Yeah. But... Yeah. I don't either. Because I, well, a lot of people are like, with scratches or if you do this or if you do that. I mean, like, I don't, you know, I definitely don't like the Yeah, let me try this on yours too. You know, this I don't like. This, this feels, feels funny. This feels funny to me. This is, something's funny. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's that. But I'm not laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. What you kind of watch is this? Dude, it's, uh, it's a Nautilus. You want to know, <laughs> it's a Nautilus, be really careful. A, yeah. <laughs> you want to know my, when I first got into watches, mm. I saw this watch in a picture. This is Royal Oak. And I didn't, I knew nothing about watches. This mm. was the first watch I saw. You're like, wow, that's ugly. No, I, I was like, this is the most incredible watch I've ever seen. Like, how, how much is that watch? A couple thousand dollars? Yeah. And I Not posted exactly. on Reddit. I was like, just, what, what is this? Like, because I couldn't find it. I was that like, is hexagonal so case shape. Like, really? Ah. Like, what is that? And people were like, are you talking about the Royal Oak? <laughs> first time. <laughs> first time. That's funny. So anyway, I, I did not see this coming. I really don't like the uh, black and green pairing. I don't like the black and green pairing either. I do think it's interesting to have it on the other side. Like, if I had a lot of disposable income, I'd be like, yeah, I'll get that. Yeah. It'd be fun. Yeah. But the color combination is a little... The, yeah, the color, I'm looking forward to other color combinations for this watch. Yes. Yes. Me too. In general. I can't wait to see what they come up with with the GMT Master 2. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought you would literally poop your pants over Hate this. Hate it. Because it goes against the exact formation yes. of the day chest? Or day no, date? No, it's, it's, it's supposed to be f***ing smooth. Why? I, I, the, the day date is in platinum. is supposed to be have a smooth bezel. That's it. Oh. Why are you f***ing with me? Wait, why? It just always has been that way. Oh, okay. That's the way certain things are. <laughs> and I want to, and I intend to keep them that way. Rolex opens their door in the morning. You're sitting there with just a huge shotgun. Yeah. You don't know how things work around yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> you must be new here, <laughs> Franchi. So, okay, uh, so going on this yeah, more. I interesting. Yeah. I thought you would love this. No. Wow. Well, what's new about it? It's in platinum. Yeah, I know. But you they love, always made the day date in platinum. But you love platinum. I love platinum, but they always made it in platinum. Did they? Always. Oh, then, dude. It's just cares. a smooth bezel. That's it. It's the only difference. That was the difference? That's the difference. I was wondering why they were paying so much attention to that in the release. They're like, it's not easy to make the, the fluid bezel out of what you no. want. No. Okay, that makes a ton of sense. It always made that watch. What about I the, mean, the dial is the same color, maybe a little hands. different. Blue seconds hand, I actually kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I like the blue seconds hand. And I love the platinum day date. I love platinum. I love the platinum day I love platinum. Platinum's amazing. Yeah. Like, I always make the same joke every time or whatever. Like, I love heavy watches. Maybe it's caveman me, me like heavy watches me like much weight on wrist make me feel strong rich man yeah rich man that's I, I think i can think of no better explanation that is just no logic there so far as i can tell yeah like, other people are like oh i love ceramic i'm like but it not way much it way less way less than my much more watch easy to wrist arm yeah. or lift arm yeah exactly it, you know yeah um yeah because I, I like still i like the whole stealth wall thing i like white metal i love that yep but I do want I want to be I want to be burdened by my watch. Yeah. I want the weight to be almost overwhelming. Almost oppressive. Yes, almost yeah. oppressive. Yeah. So that that uh, anyway, I love the platinum wow. date date. I don't like it with a with a also like and I like I like platinum date dates over white gold date dates by a small margin. I love white gold date dates, but I like sure. platinum more because of the weight, right? Sure. Period. Sure. Um, not because you know it's platinum. I don't care what the person in the room thinks. I really don't. That's yeah. not my. Watch and then also, clothes. what are you going to say as they're holding it? Oh, that's platinum. That's like, platinum. There's, you can never But there it. are definitely dudes out there that are going to be like, but it looks just like a white gold now. It looks like a white gold dated. dated. Mm. I want it with the smooth bezel. The smooth bezel with the ice blue. And they offer, oh. and they have offered the oh. white gold day date, I believe, with ice blue before. So it's all fucked up. I see you know? what you're saying. Come the, on. The, for the person that is buying this watch that says price on request... They are now upset that in theory, so someone will be upset. Yes. Yeah, not, not that Rolex people, but cares, but also like it kind of goes back to something I used to be pissed off about all the time. Like the Sky Dweller was when you walked into a Rolex boutique years ago before yeah. the came out in steel, they would say this is the only other Rolex beside the Day Date mm -hmm. that is only available on Precious. So if you buy a Sky Dweller, it will like the Day Date, 
it will always be precious. And then you just didn't steal. So in theory, a lot of those people could have been like, yo, what, what? the fuck, What did man? you sell me on? You, right. you told me I was part of an exclusive club, and now the steel guys can have it at 14 grand? Now I'm pissed. Interesting. You know, Interesting. so Rolex is a little tricky sometimes. A and tricky, I don't, I don't like that. snake, yeah. yeah. 42 millimeter yacht Did it go up in size? Yes. 42. Was it 41? I think it was 40. 40? And now... White gold with uh, this. Yeah, it's Falcon's Eye or something. Falcon's Eye. Uh, Falcon's Eye. This is a stone that very much assists in helping one go with the flow. It's a strong calming stone that will help calm tempers and assist Who one. Who wrote that? Uh, Google. Oh, I was going to say, it sounds like Sally wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's funny is before... I'm going to keep a Falcon's Eye in my pocket. Wait, wait so far, what is, what is Sally's collection of watches so far? What was the other watch we just talked about with the dial like that? Was it the Longa? Yes, it was the yeah, Longa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, Sally's collection. Oh, I like that it has healing powers. <laughs> so far, hers is a little Longa. Shut up, And a 42-millimeter <laughs> Rolex Yachtmaster in platinum. Or in white gold. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, Ask her why? Yeah. All about the stones. And she yeah. wears them depending on her mood. Yeah. This is... Uh, Sally's my girlfriend, by the way, if you guys who don't know. Uh, Please, so the, the, let's get this girl to London Jewelers and do a fake collector story. I literally. And she only talks about the stone of the dials. <laughs> she goes to me the day, she's like... She's like, well, she's not even super into this stuff, like into like where the, the moon, she's not really into this stuff. Yeah, right, But she right. does find it funny. She's and she does very smart. And she's very smart. But she also does get a little annoyed if, if when I completely deny any level of validity. I put no water in this. I think it's all ridiculous. Yeah, right. But she's, it's funny because she, she has these like little um, explanations and it sounds like it's logical, but it's not. So yeah. I said, Sal, the moon has nothing to do, the placement of the moon at the time of your birth has nothing to do with the sort of person you're going to come out to be. Right. This is a scam. Right, right. right. So she's like, you don't, and she almost makes it as if I'm arrogant. Right? So you don't think the moon has any impact on your life? None. You're in control of everything. <laughs> I'm like, get the f out of here. Good she, debate. She's like, the moon controls what? I was like, I don't know, among other things, the tide. Yeah. She goes, so it controls water. And I was like, yeah. She goes, and our bodies are made up of mostly. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Oh I'm going to. Oh my God. Uh, and again, she does not believe in this stuff very much, but, but. But she makes no decisions based off of these things. Yeah. You know, don't make fun of her too much. But if I deny the validity of this at all, she'll go nuts. And also, Falcon's Eye should be like, I think we should get that because it's, it has it has healing. And frankly, you've been on edge lately. You've, you've I think it's edge. probably because of lack of... Yeah, lack of Falcon's Eye. Yeah. I would love... Oh, no. You know what? Just deny, deny all the powers out there. That's fine. You go do your thing. That's go, fine. You go do your thing. You haven't had any luck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I would love next year, April Fool's or whatever... We do a review with Sally. Yeah. She has at least $2 million yeah. in watches. Yep. Doesn't know a single thing about Doesn't them. She one. just talks about the stones. That would be great. I would love to make that video. That was, let's do that. Yeah. We can do that soon. I would love, uh, please, yeah. please, yeah, please. Yeah, that would be fun. If you're watching this, don't tell anyone that it's a joke because we'll make it incredibly serious. This would be really, she's going to love this. It would be so fun. We just need to get a bunch of stone watches. And what kind of watch is that? She's like, I don't know. Rolex? It's a Rolex. I don't know. It's a Rolex. I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Nothing. A little longer, everything. The final release, believe it or not, it I wouldn't wear it. Well, if it was in the 36, I might. It's my it's my favorite, this dial, this new dial from Rolex. What is it called? I love that. And I, I looked at this dial and I was like, cause I, one of the goals, even though my family will never accept them, I want to get my mom and dad both Rolexes. Uh -huh. And I was like, this is the dial I'm going to get my mom. It's gorgeous. Floral motif. Floral, but really cool, yeah. Look at see that. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. The fact that it's it's like randomized mm -hmm. and put out on the dial, beautiful. I like I said, I would never really wear that. But for my mom, she's obsessed with flowers. Oh yeah. And like scattered diamonds. Totally. And she would wear it. I think on occasion, rarely. Yep. And love it. Yep. I think that's a beautiful watch. That is unreal. Thirty-one mil. Yeah, they destroyed yeah. it with yeah. that dial. Yeah. Well, the Lady Datejust, I suppose it's the Lady Datejust, is I think the the Rolex that's available in the largest variety of, of, of you know, yeah. largest options. Like they do yeah. the colors and the metals and the dial colors. I mean, it's offered in a ton of options. And I yeah. love that they did it with the, with the Oyster. It's kind of like a sporty edge to it. Like, this oh, is yeah. beautiful. Out of all the things, maybe because it's the most daring thing, I think this is where they destroyed it. Mm. Which makes sense because this never, in the watch space we're in, does not get a lot of coverage because this is a male-dominated thing, right. at least online. But this is Rolex's best-selling model. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, Lady Datejust makes more money than most watch companies make. 
Yeah, like this. Like by a, by a significant margin. <laughs> like the league is, just, is a is a watch company in and of its own. If you want any signs that your AD, whether they be jewelry companies or not, don't care about you, yeah, it's watch what happens if you're staring at an OP yeah. and a woman walks in wanting a woman's date. Yes, because that is not That's one it. sale; that no. is an entire store. Exactly. Opens. I think they annihilated it with this. I agree. I love it's that. It's a great watch. Okay, now uh, the ghost of Hans Wilsdorf is going to get me. And this was another funny Brodinky thing. Yeah. But, yeah, I realized I I really like... Well, first off, the big thing I realized, and this is not about Rolex. This is about watch releases in general. Mm. Watches are not technology in the sense of laptops and computers and mm. stuff like that. So... I would always go into these releases expecting the same type of release as an iPhone, mm-hmm. which is like, all of this is crazy fast. It's a new design. It's this and that. It's yearly consumerism. Mm-hmm. This is essentially every bid for Rolex to say, you're going to want this watch for the rest of your life. Right. So they can't make giant leaps because me, right now, 26 years old, might want this day date when I'm 50, right. but I want a new one. Right. And it can't look completely different or I'm going to want a vintage one. Right. So they have to keep in line. But... What I did realize was me liking technology doesn't mean they will cater to technology, Rolex specifically. Omega, right. on the other end, will more forcefully cater tech, to tech. But if you look at Rolex as a jewelry company, would a jeweler be like, our new sterling silver is three times tougher? Right. Or would they be like, that necklace that you loved is now released in rose? Right. Yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. I, I think the whole idea of this vintage... Like the, the idea of looking back in 50 years, it's going to be interesting because these watches, they're not going to age at all. So the conversation that we have today about vintage will not be the same conversation in 50 years. Right. Oh, know? very true. Very it will true. be that would, the people will have these memories of these special uh, models. It's not going to be, mm-hmm. it's not going to be like, uh, mm-hmm. oh, that's that, you know, that's the, that's a um, uh, uh, character old. No, it's. That was the matte green that was only for two years. That was released in 2022. Perfect example is this new day date, right? This is the this is the new, new yes. 40 millimeter matte green dial day date. Very very cool. Yeah, looks nothing like really anything the Rolex has released. Uh, I mean, this is basically the continuation of the OPs that they released. This is this is this is that same thought mm-hmm. working its way through the collection. In matte which, color, which I never thought about this anymore, or in, in anymore for the first time I haven't thought about it. I don't know what I'm saying. You're I know an what I'm, idiot. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Um, fascinating because Rolex discontinued Tiffany dial, yep. coral dial, and yellow dial. Yes, in 41 and 36. And when you think about it, which I haven't before, there won't be anything to look forward to down the line in terms of this watch is going to age beautifully. No, no, it's the watch. It's the watch. So it's going to get scratched. So they have to do... Like color and the color, they can't be a red right. watch, a red op for twenty years straight, right? Because then it's like, well, that's not that's not cool. It wasn't here for that long. Yeah, and and the bet is interesting too that you were just say, talking about with you know because Rolex is betting, you know, mm-hmm. the, Rolex is selling a lifetime item. Yes, unlike technology companies. Yep, they're selling you a period of time. They're selling you a lifetime item, and they're releasing new ones every year. It's weird. Very weird. Like. It, it almost makes no sense how they can even continue it's to no, sell it's these It's almost things. why every other company has decided, uh, no, no, it has to be like, the cars aren't good anymore. Cars suck now. That car's bad. The, right. Your phone is too slow. It doesn't work. Yeah. They're like, what are we going to say? Yeah. It loses time over no. its life? Right. No, it, yeah. it's a fantastic watch. It's always going to be great. It's always going to be great. Always. That's the whole point. The cars. I mean, when you walk into a you know an equivalent of Rolex, let's call it Mercedes-Benz. Sure. You walk into a Mercedes-Benz dealership, and they don't expect you to keep this car for very long. They don't want you to. <laughs> no, right. Yeah. They're like, yeah, like, I mean, well, they're going to have better stuff in two years. Rolex doesn't say we're going to have better. You know, Rolex will have better technology, yeah, but course. they're never going to look down on their current offering with saying like, well, you know, and I mean, don't buy this. You can you can lease it from us, and because in two years you're not going to want this. Yeah, Rolex right. is saying your kids are going to want this. Plus, they're two minus seconds a day. I mean, we could do better than that. Yeah, of course. right. You're like, it's bizarre. Like, it, it's a it's totally unique. I, I don't. I yeah. can't think of another. I, I just I can't think of another you know product like that. That's so much money too. Yeah. You know, okay, I can see people. You know, they you know, uh, like sneakers or, or shoes or whatever. I mean, or suits. There's an argument there that a lot of these things, some of these things are for, if not a lifetime, but a really, really long period of time, right? A proper yeah. jacket should last you, you know, years, dec- decades. But even know? then, well, if it's a if it's a suit jacket or something, it's a little different. But like, 
in in my side where it's like an expensive denim jacket or work jacket it's like well this is going to get destroyed and you right. should fix it and it'll be more beautiful right they're like no this is going to be it's perfect. always going to be perfect it's perfect yeah and then when and when it's not perfect when you have scratches send it to us we'll we'll polish it and also you know. sometimes that can be beautiful so just you know keep your right. eye out yeah it's inc- it's incredible and keep in mind just uh, polishing people hate polishing but when you send a watch to Rolex for polish when you know they're, they're not compromising a lot of the integrity of the watch these, these watches are coming back looking really really incredible and still you know it's also there is a when you get a vintage watch or a badly polished watch no, yeah. it's usually vintage if it doesn't look that well polished it's probably been polished for a very very long time right because it, don't ever forget that the watch market was very different. Right. Your dial was old, you need a new dial. Yes. You need new hands. Exactly. You need a new you need no scratches. I'll change the shape. And then did you see this as well? This is the forty one with the green dial day chest. Yeah. I think this is very cool that Rolex always has you know, Rolex's color is green. Yeah. And I just I really do like that they've really made an effort in the last 10, maybe fifteen years mm-hmm. of always integrating green in a serious way into their collection. Right, always a little bit. Yeah, it just works its way through the collection. Right, mm-hmm. you had the green day dates, probably had to be fifteen years ago. Mm-hmm. That anniversary with the straps and everything like that. Do you remember those watches? No, I this is so. like fifteen years ago. Oh, I might remember this, and you want to know why? Mm. I think Macklemore had one. I believe that. And I saw it, and I was like, "What watch is that? That's gorgeous." Yeah, it was like these. Yeah, I, I think he did. Yeah. I don't know. You do, but I don't. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Like that That's, was that, that yeah, was a thing. Right. There's, you know, that was a thing for a while. You yeah, know? fascinating. And then obviously you have the Hulk and you know and the Submariner and yeah, then you got yeah. the OPs and now you've got this different. Green. I think that's very cool. They're always keeping this because no one else. I mean, everyone else people do green, but green is decisively owned by Rolex and particularly that that I mean, boldness. The, the box green. has been green forever. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's when very, it wasn't the cool. box, it was the logo was green. Yeah, and, and what's kind of interesting, you know, from like a logical point of view about Rolex boxes, you know, is I'm not an expert on these materials, but, like, it's a plastic box. Oh, yeah. You know? And other brands went and did, like, these incredible things with wood and all Omega's these really expensive... Omega's boxes this yeah. big. Yeah, yeah. And Rolex is always like, yeah, well, we're just going to... We can we can sell it to you in this box, and you're going to be happy about this box. You can put it on your shelf. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah. a Rolex box is like... I have three Rolex boxes right there. Like, yeah. it's just like, you know, it's still a, an icon. It's, it's a, Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting, you know? But, yes. Here's a question yeah. for you. Mm. And we're hopping to Cartier for a second. Not about the new watches, but the whole original thing with Cartier that there was a sapphire cabochon. Mm-hmm. How do you say it? Mm-hmm. Cabochon there because a, and I'm going to mess this part up, but a noble metal should always be accompanied by a noble stone. Okay. Or something like that. Yeah. I forget that. I'm butchering it a little bit. Now, when you think about that and you think about what Rolex stands for and what the typical market of Rolex is, when you think about a material like titanium, and the buyer mm-hmm. is titanium one of those things where it's like well that's i don't want to get my memorable watch in titanium i want it in steel or gold like metals i've heard about or have utilized forever i don't want a new yeah. technology on my lifetime piece it depends it depends on the person right i mean because the, the titanium watch will speak to some people more clearly than anything else will ever speak to them. that's also so cool you know yeah yeah, yeah. some guy's going to be like that's my watch that's it's not generic at all i mean that's 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 gonna be my that's my watch so, so uh, you as a buyer, if if uh, well, you but a little different. You not working in the watch industry and making yeah. money in watches and be surrounded. You're going for your first Rolex, and don't narrow it down to titanium for this example, but a new material that's stronger, lighter, something different. Do you go new or do you go classic? You know, it depends. I mean, it depends on it, it, me as Christian. Me as Christian, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I go, I go precious. I go new. I mean, I, I go, I go, I go precious. I go yellow gold. You know, white gold. But interestingly, I might too. And yeah, because I'm right. like, well, it's my role. If I'm the different person, I'm like, it's right. my one watch. I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to go like titanium. How does that age? Is that cool? Right. I, I'm just more. I, I, I get what you mean. I, I wouldn't be worried about how the metal age because I would have such confidence in Rolex yeah of course of but course. if my character was different if I was just a different person you know like I mean like you not that you you, you didn't go do this but you know the son of a, a fisherman and and if you went and proceeded to go work on that boat that was your career yeah right like, I, I would think you're an idiot for getting any other watch but like the titanium option like yeah of course the, like the or the whatever the, the, the specifically built to your character that's the coolest thing in the world yeah. my character isn't that cool right I, I'm, I, I work on the computer there's nothing particularly cool about my life right you know there's nothing pretty good it's just like okay you work by a gold watch because you know it's, Cause you did, it's flashy you, made a lot of money. you know whatever right, exactly right. but but there's it's a way cooler story uh, if you you know like, like TJ or something like that I mean yeah. you know he has a Samaritan right now yeah. Does it actually make more sense if he had a 
even like a less jewelry watch and a more bad shock or something you know, or, or yeah. even like a titanium explorer that'd be the perfect watch for a guy like that'd that be insane that'd be it. like yeah. that's the watch not True. a sub True. sub's great yeah but a sub's more generic this yeah. is this is a very specific character that would do better with a very specific watch tj would poop his pants if he had a titanium totally. explorer totally totally poop totally. everywhere yeah who would clean it up you probably, probably me yeah <laughs> you call back like hey dude i'm cleaning up this dude, guy. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on <laughs> um but yeah with that being said my dad is a fisherman i want to get him a sub not yet, but right. I, I was driving today, and I was like, I don't know, before I'm 30, it would be a really big deal to, like, drive over to my parents' house and just be like, got this for you, this for you. Here's a Rolex. And they're like, send it back and return it and keep the money. Yeah. I'm like, I have to go. I gotta go. I gotta clean this guy's poop. They're like, we don't, want, we don't want this watch. Right. You're like, too bad I already bought it. <laughs> That's like my grandfather with his paddock. My, my, my family bought my grandfather a paddock for his birthday, his 80th. Guy's worn it like four times since. He's very grateful. Thanks, Pops. But he sometimes he sometimes asks about it, but he doesn't yeah. care. Yeah, he asks me, "Where's that watch?" I'm like, "I stole it back." My Which mom one? wears it. What did he call it? A Louis Vuitton or something? Mm, what are we talking Fendi about? Fendi watch. <laughs> I'm like, it's a fucking Patek. It's a Patek. Why are you calling it a Fendi? I, sp- I, gave- I spent all my money at the time on that watch for you. You don't even wear it. I made a video about it. It's this huge. Like, look at look at what you came from to like yeah, right. where you got us. And yeah. he's like, ah, "That's cool. That's cool. It's a good." You watch. know what I need? Yeah, a stapler. Yeah, and you didn't get me a stapler because you, you don't listen. You know who listens? Michael. <laughs> Michael listens. Michael's a good boy. Why don't you learn more from Michael? Every time I come in and you're not here yet, he goes, "Christian coming?" And I'm like, "Yeah, he'll be here in like an hour." He's like, "He doesn't call. <laughs> you always call. He doesn't call. He just comes in." <laughs> what are you, Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. <laughs> Any thoughts? Final two seconds, and then where do you think Rolex is going to go? I mean, in short, my, my thought is I hope that I get to see these watches in real life. I mean, that's Same. that's really it. I mean, yeah, that is a good point. Yeah, I, these watches are great. They're beautiful. I, it, the Rolex did a great job. I just I want to see them. Yeah, yeah, I want to see them in real life, and and I, I'd love to have an opportunity to buy one or something like that. I mean, if you were to buy a Rolex, yeah, n- n- money not yeah, money's not an issue. Yeah, buy a Rolex. I know it's not an issue for you. I know people like but, me don't care. <laughs> but um, but what would you buy right now? That's a great question. I think a Yacht Master, but I don't know. That's right. Because I also like the Datejust. You know what I still love? And it's not a new release. It's actually, at this point, it's probably two years old or something like that. I love the Daydates with the uh, Pave Dial and and, uh, and Rainbow markers. Yes. I love that release. Those, I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. There's, I, you know, they're, they're out now. They're new this year. What do you mean? They're, they're there. You could buy one. What do you mean you could buy one? They're on Rolex's website on, on new releases. Yeah, I know, but you can't count one though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I one. thought you meant they were gone. Like, no, just, no, 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 they're still around. Yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, you can't get one. You know, it's like really, really difficult to get. Yeah. it's also a lot of money, like eighty thousand dollars. So if I'm gonna spend eighty thousand dollars on a watch, I don't know if that would be that. My dad has a gold date just, so I'll probably just wear that. To well, just ask Sally what the stones do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're gonna need that oh, one. Rubies, that, is, you ru- need that Kristen, stone. I know this is a lot of money. Rubies signify wealth. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, she's like, no, you're like, your tension's been really, really high. So I think you need like emeralds or something like that. You gotta fill your pockets with emeralds. Or something. <laughs> She's like an Indian man with all the jewelry. You know? She's covered. Super stressed. Yes. Cool. Wait, what about you? You have any thoughts? About what? Did you say anything? <laughs> you asked me. <laughs> oh. Well, it's great. <laughs> Take care, God. Oh, I'm going to go sleep. <laughs>